I've been talking about the replacement of gasoline stations with new EV charging stations, or basically a complete paradigm change in society and the bankruptcy of one business. This is going to happen possibly even quicker than we thought, with huge investment from governments and businesses all around the world. And no, no, well, well, that's nice and boring, but you all know about that stuff. But you don't know this, maybe. Maybe you don't know this. Google have now changed the way that Google Maps works and the way that Android Auto works. They're now penalizing gasoline stations. It's much harder to find a gas station if you have an EV, even a plug-in hybrid. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. As you can tell, I'm a little biased against um, fumes. And the reason for that is because as we do more and more research into the causes of cancer and heart disease and many respiratory problems that people get, we start to realize and wonder things like, why the hell do so many people get lung cancer who never, ever, ever smoke? Never smoked a cigarette, never smoked weed, never done anything like that, and they're getting lung cancer. It's one of the most common ways that you will die. Seriously, a very large percentage of people get lung cancer and die as a result, who have never, ever smoked a cigarette. What could be the cause of this? Well, there's possible reasons, a number of them, but the most likely cause is pollutants from cars, exhausts, from diesel vehicles, from petrol vehicles, from trucks, all those things. What we're seeing here in Australia, for example, recently, is the pollution from electricity generation is continuing to go down. And the reason for that is renewable energy is increasing, but pollution from cars and trucks is actually growing. Fortunately, Google is helping us move away from this problem Eventually, that's what's going to happen. We'll all be driving EVs, and therefore, a lot less people will be getting these major illnesses. And like I said, Google Maps is now essentially demonetizing gas stations. So if you drive an EV and you want to stop off for a snack or a drink, you don't even want fuel, but a lot of people do this, right? You'll stop at a 7-Eleven or a petrol st gasoline station to buy a drink or something. What Google will show you is an electric station. Google is demoting gas stations from EVs running Android Auto. EV owners can tailor their Google Maps experience on Android Auto to show charge points instead of gas stations. However, as a default, if you tell Android Auto you have an EV or a plug-in hybrid, it will actually send you to an EV station instead. That said, it's not going to force you to do this. You do have the option to choose otherwise, but... You also have the option to banish gas stations from your point of interest categories in Google Maps. With the popular navigation app, allowing drivers of electric cars to tailor their experiences to their habits while using Android Auto. And Android Auto is now, it's used in approximately 60% of new cars. It's an incredibly fast growing application and it's essentially locking out automakers from having the data. Google's getting your data from when you use your car, why are you using Android Auto? It's a genius idea from Google. I mean, obviously Apple does the same thing with Apple CarPlay. Not long ago, Google confirmed the changes to its map service. And within the Android Auto phone to car projection feature, users can now choose to show a shortcut to find a charging station rather than the typical waypoint for gas stations. Additionally, a whole host of options are available designed to improve convenience and functionality for electric vehicle users. These include being able to filter charges by plug speed, allowing users to identify the fastest charges for their cars and offering the ability to filter recharge points by plug type to ensure actual compatibility with your EV. Now, one of the biggest reasons to slower adoption of EVs in some, in some states, in some places, is this issue, right? Compatibility, right charger, right speed, does it work, blah, blah, blah. And here we can see how Google is offering solutions to this problem. Now, manufacturers are offering their own solutions. They're moving away from CCS. They're moving to a North American charging standard in North America. Obviously, Europe has their own standards, and this will help customers as well. But this is another way in which technology companies can aid this change. And realistically, fortunately for us, Google doesn't have any real invested interest, real vested interest in BP, 
in their success or Chevron Mobile or anyone, anyone else. It doesn't really care. It just cares about your service. Are you more likely to use Google Maps? Are you more likely to use Android Auto if they provide you with the best possible experience? And that's what they're doing. Perhaps most valuable is the inclusion of real-time charging port availability. With this feature, Google Maps displays the real-time availability of charging stations, allowing you to see if a point is currently in use, thereby minimizing wait times. And this may also solve, in part, the problem of broken charges, which is a huge issue and is something that a lot of new EV owners get very, very angry about. Finally, on any trip that will require a recharge midway, Google Maps will suggest the best charge point location depending on battery level, predicted energy consumption, and current traffic. While many of these features have been available for EVs running Google's built-in software already, such as the Polestar 2, Volvo XC40, and the Cadillac Lyric, they were previously unavailable to those using Android Auto, which is, like I said, it's the majority of the car market. However, after being introduced last year, it was recently made more evident to users that the added functionality will help those who choose to project their phone's infotainment capabilities to their car screen, which is, like I said, the majority of users. Rolling out the latest round of EV-friendly updates to Android Auto isn't the only thing that Google Maps has been doing. In an effort to offset CO2, the app eco-routed journeys, taking into account the most sustainable way of travel. In doing so, Google estimates it has saved drivers roughly 1.2 million metric tons of CO2 emissions. So this could actually save you not only time, but money, and also help make the air cleaner. Plus, really, stress. I mean, stress is another major issue that we get, cancers and heart disease and all these other terrible things. It's not just pollution. Stress is a huge driver for many illnesses that we have today. People are wondering why is lifespan not increasing? Well, that's one of the reasons, stress. And if you're driving around trying to find a charger and you're worried your battery pack's gonna run out, that is, my friends, a major stressor. This change will help those people that are in that situation enormously. So kudos to Google. Apple's done similar things. I think Apple has a bit of work to do to catch up though with what Google Android, what Android are doing, and that's probably what they're aiming to do. Either way though, I'm very impressed by these changes. I think it's a huge advantage for owners of EVs and I can't wait to know what you think about it. What's your feedback? Tell me how it works and let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.